When it comes to breads, banana bread is the most searched for bread on Google. In the United States, banana bread's eaten for breakfast and for brunch, but in the UK, it's eaten for afternoon tea. I'm going to be making the original recipe that I prepared at Buckingham Palace for the Queen and the Royal Family. A little butter just splattered across the top, the perfect afternoon tea cake. Let's get started. First of all, we need a loaf tin and we have to line it with some grease. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to tell you that Winston wants to cook along and he's cooking his Cousin Hovis favorite banana bread. Cousin Hovis? I didn't even know you got a Cousin Hovis. Why do they call him Hovis? <laughs> because he's well bred. I hope his recipe is better than your jokes. <sighs> I start with a long strip of paper that I'll just put down the center. And then it has two lips on the top so that once it's cooked, I can use those to lift the banana bread straight out. Then two pieces that can just go into the sides. And finally, a little more butter on the top just to hold it all in place and make sure that banana bread doesn't stick. When it comes to the bananas in banana bread, I mean, these ones are perfect for eating, but they're not good for banana bread because there's no real flavor in there. We want a nice, intense banana flavor in that bread. These ones, well, they're starting to ripen and yeah, they'll sort of make a good banana bread but the best bananas for banana bread are these ones. Seriously, they just got starting to go black. Well, maybe a little bit more, but these are perfect. And the smell of the banana in there, these are incredible. Winston, how's the cake coming along? Oh my goodness. You're not the cleanest of workers in the kitchen, are you? Banana bread became really popular in the 1930s. Of course, it was the time of the Great Depression and nothing could be thrown away. Everything was expensive. We didn't have lots of different foods. And so anything like bananas that were starting to ripen, you just couldn't throw them away. So when they got to this color like this, they made the perfect banana bread. I start off with some self-rising flour and then into that, I'm going to put some soft butter and a little salt. Now I rub the butter into the flour and make nice fine crumbs. Banana bread recipes for the most part are quick breads and they're leavened with baking powder. But baking powder wasn't developed commercially until 1857. But the banana bread that we know, you know the quick bread, it could have been made in America in like the 18th century because housewives developed something called pearl ash. And pearl ash is like a refined form of potash and it produces carbon dioxide gas in dough. And then the raisins. The dried cherries. And finally the nuts. Mix all of those together and make a well in the center and add the eggs. Peel the bananas, break them up a little bit and then mash them. You can do this by hand or as I'm doing in the food processor. Pulse. I don't mind a few small lumps in there. When you bite into the banana bread, those little chunky pieces of banana. So you don't have to go to a really fine puree if you don't want to. They smell amazing. And finally, 
some vanilla bean paste. This Nielsen Massey vanilla bean paste is absolutely gorgeous. I use it a lot in my videos. I put a link to it in the description below if you can't find it. It's not too expensive and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's better than vanilla extract. So a little of that in there too. Then it's a case of mixing everything together and just stirring it all together and finally into the mold. and then into the oven 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or so or until we put a little stick in the center a toothpick and it comes out nice and clean let's see how Winston's getting on with his cake oh Winston your banana bread is gorgeous you'll have to share cousin Hovis's recipe in the description below so everybody can make it at home <laughs> the banana bread's been in the oven for about 45 minutes and it's nice and firm to the touch on top. It's golden brown and it smells amazing. We have to leave it in the tin for about 15-20 minutes to set up. Once we've done that, we can use the two little lips we've got here, lift it out and place it onto a wire rack. There, we're going to leave it to cool completely. After that, we'll wrap it in plastic wrap. It can go into the refrigerator uh, for up to three months and it keeps fresh and moist and perfect. My banana bread has been in the refrigerator overnight and that just lets it set up a little bit. I can now slice it, take off that end piece. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. All it needs now is a little butter, salted butter, pushed over each piece. I can't tell you how many times this recipe got me out of trouble at Buckingham Palace. Because the fruit keeps the bread moist in the refrigerator for several weeks, there's always two or three loaves in there. And if a member of the royal family turned up, then, ah, oh, the good old banana bread, a lifesaver. My delicious banana bread with a cup of tea. Mmm, so sweet, moist, delicious. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed Winston's. Give me a thumbs up, leave a message below. Let me know what you think and share your banana bread recipe. If you haven't subscribed, click on the link and subscribe now. See you again soon. Banana bread. Seriously?